Good morning, Azeroth. Good morning, Azeroth. This is Neil, your friendly warrior tank from Medivh, and I help people learn achievements, and this is Good Morning, Azeroth. Neil's attempt to bring you the news from all around the World of Warcraft 4, Wednesday, November the 2nd, 2016, and I am in the graveyard of Stormwind because it is the Day of the Dead. It's the Day of the Dead uh, at the end of the Halloween, all uh, the, 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 yeah, the Halloween event uh, until 2 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow is Day of the Dead. Uh, there are only two days that you can do all the things associated with this event. Uh, so we'll talk about them here. Wowhead has a great guide to them. Day of the Dead, November 1st to 3rd. Day of the Dead, Dead runs from November 1st to 3rd to close out Hallow's End. They've whipped up a small guide so you can know the quest and achievements for the event. Make sure you don't skip out if you're an achievement hunter as it boasts one achievement that you can only get for a few days. Uh, there's nothing new for 2016. Back in 2014, they added some costumes, and last year, 2015, they added some achievements. Uh, so, uh, the event basics. Make sure you get some simple flour and some ice-cold milk, at least one of it each, before heading to a graveyard. This will save you some traveling time when doing the quest below. To take part in the events, uh, festivities, you must first locate Katrina, an undead female, and a reference to La Calavera Katrina, who can be found near the graveyard of any capital city. She will give you some information regarding the holiday itself, and it is most important that you remember to slash dance with her. Upon doing so, you will earn Dead Man's Party. You will also gain the buff Honor the Dead, which will change you into either Katrina or her male counterpart Chapman for 12 hours. Uh, the Macabre Marionette, it's a pet that you can only pick up during the Day of the Dead. It's the only quest available. It's called the Grateful Dead. You can only complete it once per tune. The quest will be available at your race's home city unless you have access to Shaptrith or Dalaran, where it can be completed by any race faction, including Pandaren. Uh, new to 2016, the NPCs are also available in Legion's Dalaran by the cemetery. So I did see them in Dalaran yesterday. Uh, so remember to go to your home city uh, so that you can pick up your macabre marionette. In order to, to obtain the quest, you must first purchase either an orange marigold or a bouquet of orange marigolds from Chapman, the vendor located near Katrina at any city graveyard. The difference between the two items is that one is a single-use consumed item that will only last the duration of the event while the other is a reusable permanent offhand, though its use will only function during the event as well. Use the flower at the city graveyard to allow your character to see the cheerful spirit remaining there. The spirit will offer you the quest, the Grateful Dead, requesting that you bring the spirit an offering of food, in this case, Bread of the Dead or Pan de Muerto. The Bread of the Dead recipe requires one cooking still to learn, and the recipe can be purchased from the graveyard vendor. Chapman, simply whip up a batch of tasty bread and bring it to the cheerful spirit. The simple flour can be found from cooking suppliers in your major cities, and ice-cold milk is sold by many NPCs, including in in keepers and food and drink vendors. You will be rewarded the macabre marionette. Uh, this pet actually sells for quite a bit because uh, it's only available two days a year. So if you got some extra tunes and want to pick up some extra pets, uh, they do sell for a couple thousand. Last time I checked. Also, you can pick up costumes. Uh, ba -ba -ba. The costumes are actually go into the toy box. The purple phantom, night demon, the snowy owl, the Santo sun and the Blooming Rose Contenders costumes. Uh, they give you some special abilities when you put them on, and there are some achievements associated with the costumes. Uh, one is to defeat a contender while wearing a contender's outfit. The second is to defeat 20 of them. The third is to defeat 50 of them. Uh, it can only be completed during Day of the Dead, so that's today or tomorrow. Uh, best way that I did this was form a grouping and step into, we stepped into the uh, front entrance of Siege of Orgamar. Uh, I think there were four or five of us. We just picked one person and kept killing them over and over or letting them kill us. You know, one person would do all the killing and then we'd switch around the room until everyone got all their achievements. Uh, so that's what I would suggest you do. That's the Day of the Dead holiday. It's only up for today and through tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Go ahead and get all of your Day of the Dead stuff done today. That's the top story. Uh, and if you've made it to this point in the video, go ahead and like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that. It helps us out. We appreciate that. Like and share. Subscribe to the channel. Also, 
Thanks to our patrons. Our patrons went to over to patreon.com, the Neils. They signed up, and for as little as two bucks a month, they get cool rewards and also get thanked every time Neil does a program. Uh, we'll thank them now. Regnava, Zuki and the Random One, Neil, Adafluzi, Tinder Mava, Carl, Lucky B, Infinitron, Darla, Shigan, Fantaria, Equins, Ucha, Morasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coconut, Dwarfy, Azurea, Nosy Nosy Jadivad, Dr. Didge, Mystical, Zelo, Kalai, and we have a new mystery patron. I need to find out their name so I can add them to the list, and we'll do that soon. Thanks to the new mystery patron. Now back to all the other news around the world of Warcraft at Wowhead. Do, do, do. Wrong Wowhead. At Wowhead, their top story is the hidden artifact appearance updates. There have been some blue tweets about uh, the hidden artifact uh, that are out there, uh, especially the Arms Warrior hidden artifact appearance. Uh, the other day I went into the Class Order Hall and the Forge Master, the, um, the, the smith there, said, Hey, that sword's pretty cool. Maybe there's an axe that's its equal. Uh, and that started me on a quest to go get the hidden appearance for the arms artifact weapon. Apparently, that um, uh, dialogue um, has a chance to happen most any day of the year. Uh, it just hadn't happened much until the other day, uh, and it only happens for the day. Uh, so if you don't talk to him that day, it might not be up uh, when you get back to him. So just uh, keep hanging out. Keep go to see the 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 smith every day see if he has that um uh, dialogue for you uh they've also said there's one death knight hidden artifact appearance i think it's the frost that has not been found yet apparently it's a tied to a um, world boss that hasn't popped up yet so uh we should soon know all uh of the hidden artifacts and how to pick them up uh, they've got a BlizzCon roundup, the badge pickup info, the Illidan statue preview, the virtual ticket pets are now in game. Uh, this week in the Broken Isles, your Day of the Dead is up, your pet battle bonus event is up, your world boss is Flotsam. He seemed pretty easy when I went up there to defeat him in High Mountain yesterday. Uh, they've got your November 1st hot fixes. BlizzCon Survival Guide, etc., etc. And apparently you can acquire Morose as your class champion. Uh, so if you'd like another champion in addition to the eight that you have and three that you can't use, uh, go ahead and pick up Morose next time you're running through Karazhan. At Blizzard Watch, blizzardwatch.com. Uh, the Q slouching towards Anaheim. We're getting ready for BlizzCon. It's coming. Hints at the next Hearthstone expansion. Actually, we're not Hearthstone here. BlizzCap's a nightmare from the deep. Are you using the Legion Companion app? I am not. I hear a lot of people talking about it, um, saying it, it makes doing this stuff in the Class Order Hall much, much easier. I have not been using it. Uh, maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. Uh, how to acquire Moreau's in your Class uh, Order Hall champion. And the Day of the Dead is uh, in WoW for the next three days. That's at blizzardwatch.com. PDQ with the Pwncast. Daily Quest, they've got your upcoming PvP changes. The Summoning of Nightbane from Karazan 7.1 Quality of Life Improvements over there at Pwncast Daily Quest website. Warcraft Pet Battles, my good buddy Jimma Banks is putting up videos on how to defeat all of the bosses the the master tamers in legion to get those uh, achievements trapper jeroon mousing around trapper jeroon dragons grixis tiny pop aquatic acquiescence grixis tiny pop murlocs harpies and wolvar are his most recent uh, good guides over there at warcraft pet battles at hazel nutty games games she's got your complete falcosaur guide as her top new video um Ba, ba, ba. She's got her almost Saturday vlog. She's ready to go to BlizzCon. Carissa, two pet strategy guide. Uh, I don't think I fought Carissa yet. Resto Druid in the battleground. She's got those great videos on how to do the various uh, Broken Isle pet battle guides. I'm using those as well. Uh, she's got stuff on 7.1 and the Return to Karazan. Great videos over at Hazel Nutty Games on the YouTube channel. WarcraftPets.com, uh, the Warcraft Pets Community Meetup in BlizzCon 2016 pets are now live. Uh, if you're going to BlizzCon, lots of fun events. Uh, so check out all the fun events, including the Warcraft Pets event. I'm not going to BlizzCon. I am not headed to BlizzCon this year. That's at WarcraftPets.com, a great resource for all the pet battlers in-game. 
at MMO Champion. They talk about the hidden artifact appearances, updates, the Illidan statue, the pet battles bonus event, preparing to bring Illidan home, uh, world boss flotsam, day of the dead, all this stuff we've already talked about, uh, and those hot fixes. Great information on all the hot fixes at MMO Champion. At IC Veins, gold making, obliterating, obliterating, obliterating ancient healing potions. The hidden artifact appearance update. The new Illidan sculpture is on sale soon this weekend. Wow, hot fixes, PvP balance changes, ba, ba, ba. and uh, great class guides, uh, at least starter guides for your classes. Icyveins.com, a great resource for everyone. Uh, did want to point out at Fat Boss TV that do have all your normal heroic bite size and long form version video guides and your mythic guides for Emerald Nightmare. They also have PTR guides to Guarm and Odin. Uh, I think they've got Helia as well. They also have the Karazhan uh, guide. Um, so uh, if you're looking for guides on all of those things, uh, obviously. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the Trials of Valor comes out next Tuesday. We still got about half a week before that comes out. Uh, but uh, if you want their, their what was happening on the PTR, uh, you can see that at Fat Boss TV on the YouTube. Also, Line of Sight Gaming still anxiously awaiting their Mythic Two Minute Tips, uh, but they do have their normal Heroic Two Minute Tips all up at Line of Sight Gaming. If you've made it to this point, thanks again. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, uh, like the video. We appreciate that. Also, keep up with the Neils. Keep up with the Neils. Keep up with the Neils in all the ways. One of those ways is Twitch TV, the Neils. That's where we are streaming live to the internet right now. We are streaming live to the internet. Um, when you go to the stream, throw up a follow. We appreciate the followers. We're at 480 followers, 20 followers away from 500 followers. When we get to 500 followers, we're going to give away pets and we're going to give away mounts. We gave away mounts at 100 and pets and mounts at 250 when we get to 500. We're giving away more pets and mounts. Maybe some of these. Raiding with Leashes 4 pets that I picked up. I finished my Raiding with Leashes 4 and defeated Algalon last night. Uh, so, I uh, got some extra pets there. Also, links to all the other places that you can keep up with me. My Facebook page, my Twitter page, my Open Raid group, the Guild website, the YouTube channel, the Patreon. Clicking on those boxes will take you to those places. Uh, the Guild of Shattered Fates, the Guild of Shattered Fates on Medivh, Shattered Fates on Exodar. Shattered Fates on Medivh is the Alliance Guild, Shattered Fates on Exodar is the Horde Guild. If you're on Medivh or Exodar and you're looking for a guild, we're looking for you. ShatteredFates.com is the website. Those are connected realms, so you can join either guild from either realm. Also, I'm on Facebook and I'll friend you back. I'm on Facebook, Facebook.com. I am Neil on Medivh and I'll friend you back. Neil on Medivh at Facebook. On Twitter, I am at the Neils at the Neils on Twitter.com, and I'll follow you back. I'm on Open Raid. I'm a MVP there. I help people learn achievements there. OpenRaid.ZergID.com. You can find all my events there, including this weekend Alliance Side Siege of Wogamar achievements, Blackrock Foundry achievements, and Mythic BRF. On Sunday, we're doing Emerald Nightmare achievements for the second time, and Mythic HFC. Uh, you can join the group, the Achieve More group, helping you to achieve more in the World of Warcraft. My friend Kabish runs casual, random battlegrounds, Heroic TOT and Mythic SOO on the regular, Pile Bunkers running Emerald Nightmare Normal on the regular. Lots of people helping you to achieve more in the World of Warcraft. OpenRaid.ZergaD.com, the group is Achieve More. I'm on YouTube, and I'll subscribe back if you look like a content creator. Uh, we are approaching 100,000 views. We're approaching 200 subscribers to the channel, and we appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. Uh, the video that's getting a lot of views now is that one time Neil prepared for Halloween. I submitted that into the, the Morning Streams uh, uh, Film Fest, 32nd Film Festival for October, and got a mention on their show. We are up to 94 views, most of those in the last two days since they mentioned me on the podcast. Appreciate them. I look to enter more of the video contest coming soon. Uh, if you made it to this point, like and share, subscribe, and uh, thanks. Thanks, 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 and thanks to our patrons. They make it possible. Zuki, the random one, Regnava, Neil, Adafluzzi, Tinder, Mava, Carl, Lucky B, Infinitron, Darla, Shigan, Fantheria, Equin, Sucha, Marashi, Petsy, the Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coco, Naughty, Dwarfy, Azurea, Noza, J, Diva, Dr. Ditch, Mystical, Zelo, Kalai, and the Mystery Patron. Thanks to you. Y'all have fun storming the castle, and remember, fire is still bad, this X-Pack. Have a great one.